Hey guys, it's Allison. Today I'm here with celebrity hairstylist Sarah Potempa, inventor of the Beach Waver. And today she's going to Beach Wave my hair and give me this mermaid festival look. You guys, festival season is coming up and I'm so excited because I'm gonna turn her into a mermaid. She already has the beautiful makeup, but now I'm gonna show you how to get the hair. So basically what I'm doing is taking the mermaid waves, spritzing it all over the hair, lifting it up just a little bit to enhance the natural wave, and then I'm gonna loosely dry it before we curl. So we're gonna start by sectioning the hair, bringing it all forward, and then we're gonna start on the bottom. I'm gonna curl it with a smaller curling iron. So this is the Beach Waver S.75. So it's actually a smaller rod than you would think you might wanna use. So to get that really beautiful mermaid wave, you wanna use this 3 quarters inch size of a curling iron. So we're gonna start by sectioning on the bottom. And sectioning is actually really important because it saves a lot of time. So a lot of people think, oh, I'll just grab random pieces. But it's actually faster to section, start on the bottom, and then work your way up. So to create this type of mermaid wave, you wanna hold the beach waver vertical, and then you wanna clamp it on the bottom, and then you wanna tap the arrow away from your face. Hold it for about three to four seconds, open the clamp, slide it straight down. And the idea is that you really want these pieces to cool. So you're not gonna run your fingers through, don't brush them out, really allow these pieces to cool so that you get that beautiful mermaid wave pattern. with the Beach Traver S.75. It's a three quarters inch barrel, and we've got some gorgeous mermaid waves, but it's still a little bit tight and curly. So what we're gonna do is run our fingers through the entire thing, and then I'm gonna show you how to transform it from curls to waves. First, you wanna just separate the curls. So all I'm doing is really opening them up, taking my fingers, separating them, so you can actually see the curls are turning into gorgeous waves, just by simply doing that, running your fingers through and then separating them. One of my favorite styling tips is to spray a flexible hairspray directly on the brush and then smooth out the waves. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to add a snake braid to your mermaid waves. So we're gonna take the hair, separate it into three pieces, and then you're gonna go right over the middle, left over the middle. So you're just creating a regular three-strand braid all the way down. Once you get to the bottom of the braid, take two of the sections and hold them to the left. And then you're gonna slide up. Then you're gonna take the hair and slowly create a design that slides down. Then I take a small clear elastic and then secure the ends. So now that we've created this braid, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gel. You can see you have it all over your eyes, right? It's <laughs> yep. beautiful, but you can also put it in your hair. So I'm adding the mermaid glitter gel to the top here because I'm gonna create a three strand French braid going back. So after you put the glitter on, separate the hair into three sections, and then do the right over the middle, left over the middle. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hair here, right over the middle. I'm gonna add a little bit of hair from the top. So we're gonna create a waterfall braid. So a waterfall braid is basically a three strand French braid, but what you're gonna do, so you have the three strands, one, two, three, you're gonna leave the bottom one out and replace it with a new section from the root. So you always have three sections. The new section goes over the middle, and then you add hair from the top to make it a French braid. So the top two go over the middle. Then you're gonna drop this one, replace it with a new one from the root, and that's how you create the waterfall braid. After you've done the waterfall braid going all the way down, right about the middle of the back here, we're just gonna create a regular three-strand braid. So now what I'm gonna do is take my snake braid from the other side, 
and just connect the two into a regular braid at the bottom. So this gives you a really beautiful half up hairstyle with mermaid waves. Okay, then the final step is just to take a little more of the mermaid glitter gel. And you can have so much fun with this because we're turning you into a mermaid. <laughs> so you can literally apply it directly onto these strands that are coming down as part of that waterfall braid. I love this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look and I hope you guys enjoy our new mermaid collection. Obsessed. <laughs>